Back in the day, in the late 70s and early 80s when we were gigging, one of the things I hated most was when the keyboard player needed a lift in with his electric piano. Uh, Roads and Wurlitzes and things were uh, very heavy and very temperamental. So when I spotted this uh, the other week, I was really interested. This is the Krumar 7 and it's a proper suitcase uh, electric piano. It's a physically modelled electric piano from, uh, from those very nice people at Krumar in Italy. And I think it's fantastic. Now, I'm a guitar player. Um, I'm not a keyboard player, so I'm probably not going to make uh, the best of it. But what I can do is tell you why I think it's great. And, uh, and, and for me, uh, why if I was a, especially if I was a gigging musician now, a gigging keyboard player in clubs or a, um, a 70s sort of tribute band or function bands, Stevie Wonder, you name it, um, this would certainly be at the top of my list. Um, it kicks off, as you would expect, um, with uh, a really nice uh, Rhodes sort of 73 sound. I've used a lot of electric piano sounds in contact and in uh, soft synths, but what they don't do is respond like this. And that real digging in. It's very cool. Okay, so we've got a great uh, Fender Rhodes sound there. Now, this bank here, uh, is also what's really interesting for me is, as a, if you were a live keyboard player. It's not got a lot on it, but it's got instant access to the sort of effects that you would need and usually would use with these kind of pianos. And they're dead easy to access. So for example, here's the, the Rhodes. If I want some reverb, I literally just push the knob and this nice green light comes on to show that the reverb's there. Now, if I want to change it, I literally just turn the knob and it goes from green to red in this case. It's quite a long taper, so, uh, so it's quite cool. Now that's allowing me to alter the level of the reverb. If I wanted to alter the decay, do that, I click it again and it changes and you can see that now I'm actually altering a different part of the reverb, now I'm actually altering the decay, same idea. So it's very cool, very easy to use. Here you've got an EQ, uh, a pretty simple one. I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't use the EQ at all under normal circumstances because these models are so good. But I'm guessing this is for when you're on stage. And by the way, I think this will look fantastic on stage with all the lights and everything. But anyway, I'm guessing for when you're on stage, when you are needing to just make those little tweaks. As we come down here, there's some other cool stuff. Um, I'll go through the banks in a minute, but the, the, the banks themselves are made of the little uh, knob, the little switches that used to be on the uh, Profit 5s and things. So that's a nice little throwback. Um, and then, yeah, we've got a couple of effects here. And again, they're the effects that you would need. So for example, tremolo and actually a pan I think for this would be would be more sort of appropriate beautiful it has an auto warm there we'll come to that in a sec uh, and a pedal wah so you can actually put a pedal in and, and play it like a wah wah it has a cool uh, amp simulator, so you can uh, simulate the overdriven sound that people used to like, and that's really pretty gnarly. So, uh... so we'll put that in. And again, you can drive that just as hard as you like. Very cool. And then finally, there's a second set of effects, chorus, phasers, flanges, um, and we'll see that as we move through the patches. At the very end, there's a thing that says pad. Um, I'm not quite sure how I feel about this, but I kind of get it. If uh, if someone jumped up and said they were going to do a ballad and all of a sudden that you had to accompany them. So if I switch it on, it gives you a nice sort of string effect in the back. So, 
let's go to the rest of the sounds. And I'll just jump through them quickly. Uh, there's other videos out there that do a much better job of playing through them, but I'll just tell you why I like them. Um, that's the Rhodes Stage 73, as far as I'm concerned, and it sounds killer. The next one across says uh, Reeds, so of course that's much more, that's a whirl it's a, And this just sounds absolutely as I remember these things. Um, uh, so we used to have, back in the sense we had bands that would play this sort of... Uh, sort of style and, and it sounds just perfect for that. Um, the other thing that's quite cool about it was that the Wurlitzer uh, used to run out around A and the model is brilliant. <laughs> there you go. Next up is the Electric Grand which reminds me of uh, early Peter Gabriel albums and uh, later Genesis albums um, and indeed in my case um, I remember a great album by Tony Banks called A Curious Feeling that had this sort of um, So, very cool. Next up we've got a clavinet, and this is cool. This is based on the D6, classic uh, Horner D6. And actually, under here, they've put all the original controls that were on the, on the D6 available to you via a switch, um, which is really cool. All the classic tones are there. Uh And you can, again, add all the effects you need to that. It's it's really very cool indeed. Next up, uh, DX, which obviously takes us back to the 80s and the wonderful world of the Yamaha DX7. After that, MKS, which I think is based on the Roland MKS. I say I'm not a keyboard player. I do seem to remember they had a, a very famous sort of piano sound that a lot of people liked, and uh, and this is this is the model for that. There's some vibes in here, which are... Uh... And finally, they finish with a grand piano, uh, and this is a new model that they've, they've put in there, which is uh, a Viennese uh, a piano. And again, I'm not enough of a keyboard player to, to, to make this work, but it does sound pretty authentic. So what's cool about this, I think, is not only have you got those initial sounds, but straight in front of you, you've got four banks for each of these presets. So you can store up to 32 different sounds. The first bank's all written in, but after that you can put your own sounds. And you can add any of these effects, as I say, which, which are really cool. So, you know, if you want to, um, if you want to add the pan and some reverb, store that as a preset is there. But I think the main thing I like about this is if you are playing live, if you are playing in a, a funk band or a fusion band or you know playing 70s music or whatever, for a keyboard player, you on the fly can sort of change things. You can change the speed of, of the of the pan or the uh, the auto wah. So if the drummer for some reason speeds up or slows down, not that they ever do, uh, but if he was to do that, you can sort of alter things and, 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 and really be in the moment, which I think is very cool. Also, I was chatting to a keyboard friend of keyboard player friend of mine who was saying, well, you know, I've got a super Korg Kronos and it has all these incredible models inside it and much more, which of course it does. But accessing it quickly, I think this is a much easier and much more intuitive way of doing it. 
But then he said, well, actually, though, I like to get inside the models and I like to really mess about, I like to open the piano lids a certain amount. and this, that, that. You can do all that. What's really cool about this is not only have they merged this, uh, what you would call old technology, but they've brought it right up to date as well. So this unit generates a Wi-Fi signal. So if I was to get my phone, which I'll do now, um, I'll show you exactly how that works. And as you can see, the 7 editor appears on my phone screen. And then I've got all sorts of global options, tunings and channels and MIDI uh, stuff there. But also I can import and export presets, uh, which I presume are going to be available from uh, the website or, or whatever as, as things uh, go on. I can select uh, the piano types that I want. Um, here they are. And I can add these sounds to them. So I can add presets. Uh, I can get inside and... Uh, edit the physical models themselves. I can edit the effects. And pretty much anything I want to do in there. So there you have it. If you do want to uh, get under the bonnet and tinker around with the physical modeling, you can do. Uh, it's as easy as that. I, however, still think this is a real live sort of instrument. And if I was a, a keyboard player worth my salt and I was out there playing, like say, Stevie Wonder, tributes or uh, 70s function things, this would be my keyboard of choice. It's really, really good fun. It plays very authentically, and I think it looks very, very cool indeed. So this is the Krumar 7.